Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I want to just talk about one of my favorite add-ons for a game and show you how to install it yourself. Uh, this add-on that I'm going to be talking about today is called OG Light, and it is a tolerated tools. It is officially allowed by the game developers, um, and I will link the form thread to it over on the OGame forums so you can you know, see that yourself, that this is a legitimate tool and not something you will get punished for using. So this is a JavaScript add-on, which means that in order to install it, you will need to have a brow or an add-on on your browser like Tamper Monkey. Tamper Monkey is available for Firefox. Uh, it's available for Chrome. So whatever browser you use, you should be able to go in and install Tamper Monkey. Uh, really easy to do, and I'll include the links to the Chrome and Firefox versions in the description down below. So I'm going to add it to Chrome here, add extension. And now that Tamper Monkey has been added, I can go and go to the OG Lite thread. And there's this link for the download. I would go and hit that link and then hit install. And that just installed the OG Lite add-on on Chrome for me. Uh, you would do the same thing over in Firefox if that's what you're using. Um, I already have it installed on Firefox, so I won't go and reinstall it here. Um, but it's a really, really handy tool. And now that I've shown you how to install it, let's talk about some of the features it has. Uh, the person that developed it um, is Nolan. I don't know if there's any other developers that have contributed to the project. If there is, I'm sorry for not giving you credit here. Uh, but this is sort of a, it's a competing add-on to anti-game, which is something those of you that have been around for a while are probably familiar with, with O-Game. And to me, this is just a bit easier to use than anti-game. Uh, so it's got a variety of scripts in it. You can, like anti-game, you can go through and mark targets, allies, whatever. Um, and the, the user interface has been updated quite a bit since this original uh, set of pictures they took. So OG Lite is this entire lock over at the right here under this little search bar. And you can do quite a few things with it. The buttons at the top will... Uh, the first one, you know, is going to give you uh, just a variety of options for it. The second button and the second through fourth are where things start to get really interesting, though. And this is, again, a tolerated and allowed script. So you can hit this button, the second button here to select what type of ships you would like to use to transport resources between your planets. So I'm going to use large cargoes. You can uh, select to transport your resources or deploy them just by clicking that button. And then this fourth button, the little infinity symbol, will allow you to select a target. So if I am starting out on a planet here, this, this will start a script to allow me to go through and transport my resources. So I've set it to large cargoes, I've set it to do transports, and I'm going to select a target destination to send my resources. So I'm going to send it to uh, one of my moons. And this will start up a script that will automatically select however many large cargoes you need to transport your resources. It will automatically dump all of your resources on the planet into those large cargoes. And it will select the target. So I can literally go through and transport my resources just by holding down the enter key. Like this is literally, this is all I'm going to do is just hold down the enter key. Now, if I stop holding down the enter key, it will stop, you know, working. You have to, to like still hit the, the continue key or whatever, but you can just hit the, the enter key to do the same thing. So I'm transporting all of my resources right now to uh, one of my moons. I'm just, it's going through my planets and transporting the resources. And you see how, if you're someone that has a lot of planets and you usually do this manually, 
uh, you can probably see how this could be, you know, a bit handy. Like literally all I'm doing is holding down the enter key on my numpad here. And it's going through and transporting the res over. And, you know, like uh, like I showed, if you wanted to use small cargos instead, uh, I think Pathfinders and espionage probes were the other options it had. Um, if you wanted it to use something else, you could have it set to use something else. If you want to set it to just deploy, you can hit the button, the, the third button up here at the top right, uh, switch it from the, the transport symbol. Is it going back and forth? And deploy is going to be just the one arrow going into a line there. Um, and then for the, the ships you can use, you can use small cargoes, large cargoes, pathfinders, and then espionage probes. Uh, just note though, you know, you cannot use espionage probes to transport resources on every universe. Some universes do have that disabled, like the universe that I currently play on, terrazed.us. So I just use large cargoes, and as you see, or as you just saw, uh, it was quite fast to transport resources over. Now, the other functionalities here, uh, the second row of buttons, there's an economy view just to let you see how long it's been since you were last on, you know, the planets and you can toggle between that to see the resources on each planet and moon and how long it's been since you were last on the planet or moon. Uh, you could see a production view if you want to just see how much or how many resources you are uh, gaining per day from your planets. There's the pin target list if you have any pin targets. I play on a pretty dead universe, so I haven't bothered like selecting any targets. Uh, but let me just, let me go to galaxy view here. So if I wanted to go and mark this Madden guy as a, uh, as a target, I could just hover over his name and say that, yeah, this, this guy's a target. And then if I open up the target list, it gives me the coordinates, you know, or tells me what galaxies that targets are in and uh, what's, you know, systems they're in. Clear that off. Um, now, another really useful feature of um, OG Light here is all going to be on your fleet page. Let me let's go over here so I can show it to you. So if you scroll down on your fleet page here, you'll see a variety of different buttons added. Um, and these all have different functionalities and these are key binds that you can go and hit with your keyboard. So if you wanted to go to the next planet or the last planet, uh, there's buttons to do that. Um, if you want to select all ships resources, you know, there's things for that. There's buttons here to fill out expedition fleets. There's a button here to select all ships and resources. Um, well, there's a variety of options here for you. So you can just have it go through and uh, use the same fleet that you would just use, things like that. So I want to show how this can be used to quickly send expeditions. So I'm going to go through and I can send out, uh, I'm a collector on this account, so I can do six expeditions and I'm going to use the L keybind here to do large cargo expeditions, and this will automatically factor in the stats of what I have, you know, my class and all that, uh, whether I have a Pathfinder available or not, and it will send out a fleet based on that to do expeditions. So I'm gonna go through and do that quick. I'm gonna hit L, and you see it's already set the target and everything. So L, enter, enter. L, enter, enter. You see how this could make spamming expeditions really fast. You just use the, the key bind that they have listed at the bottom right for the specific type of expedition you're wanting to do. So I've got five expeditions out, but let's say I wanted to do a small cargo one instead. The key bind for that is S. So I would just use S, enter, enter. So the reason you would use OG Lite is because 
it has a lot of very nice uh, scripts in here to, to make it easy for you to transport resources between your planets or moons to a single location or to, to send out multiple of the similar fleet actions, you know, uh, real easily. Like if I, you know, right here, they, the P keybind will let you repeat the last fleet that you used. So if you wanted to send a custom fleet out on expeditions or whatever, uh, let's say I want to send out a thousand light fighters and I'm going to send these to a planet tier on a deploy. You know, if I want to go through and do this, I can go and hit the, the P keybind and it will load up the exact same fleet that I just used. And I can now do the exact same mission just like that. So very nice quality of life uh, functionality with this add-on. It's become one of my favorite add-ons. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of other useful add-ons out there. I, I've just started to mess around with O Game Tracker, Infocomp, uh, and someone else just took over development of that, and it's not quite at the level of functionality the previous version was. But OG Lite definitely has had the most impact on my gameplay since I started using it a couple months ago. So. Links to everything will be in the description down below if you are an O-Game player and would like to try OG Lite out. I really do think it's one of the best add-ons out there for the for the game. It just makes things so damn easy. And if you are wanting to try O-Game out, I also have a link in the description down below, even if you're an existing player. Whenever you go and start up on a new universe, if you hit that link before joining the new universe, that'll help me out. Uh, and it, there was just a bunch of universes that opened up today. So once again, thank you all for watching, but that's going to be it for today. So see you guys next time.